This is a three-ring match set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first from Shingawa City, Japan, Riho. And that double or nothing, Riho is on the winning team in that six women tag team match. Herself, Riho Mizunami, and Hikaru Shida. We're victorious over the team of Aja Kong, Emi Sakura, and one of the women that she will be facing here later on, Yuka Sakazaki. Rio, of course, Kenny Omega's favorite intergender tag team wrestling partner. Will she get off to a hot start here in the singles division for all elite wrestling remains to be seen. It's hard to believe that these uh, combatants are so uh, petite, for lack of a better word. Of course, I'm partial these young women. I got two daughters. Everybody looks like a daughter or a granddaughter or something, you know. Except, well, some might be an exception to the rule. Well, this is going to be a challenge without a doubt for Rio, as well as her other opponent, because here comes Nyla Rose. Introducing next from Washington, D.C., the native beast, Nyla Rose! Works on the time games, my great friend Dwayne Johnson. And uh, I was like, wish that lady would fair on that competition. I don't think she'd have a problem, <laughs> to be honest with you. Lots of strong women on that show, but Nyla Rose as well. Another strong woman that clearly has her eyes set on dominating this division. And I would suggest that's kind of that she would be our favorite to win this match. Oh, definitely. Size, power, everything is in her favor. And Nyla Rose wants to make a huge impression here, but she has two tough and experienced competitors also to factor in this match. The magical girl herself. She won over the house for the crowd in Las Vegas, Nevada. And again, and worldwide, a double or nothing. Yuka Sakazaki. And from Southtown, Yuka Sakazaki! Yuka Sakazaki is a ball of energy. Yeah. Constantly with a smile on her face. Always smiling. I'm going to say that. She smiled all day today. You got to work sometimes a woman smiles too much. What's she been up to? Yeah, it's kind of fun. Hey, it ain't going to be smiles in this matchup because the beat women are about to throw down in the ring, JR. I'm excited. I can't wait. Every lady for herself. It's not a handicap match, by the way. <laughs> we mentioned Nyla Rose and her size advantage. She thought that she was going to be the biggest woman in the, in the division here in All League Wrestling. Until, at double or nothing, Brandi Rhodes had an awesome surprise. That's, yeah, awesome call. I, uh, that was a moment. That was one of, the, one of the many amazing moments that we all experienced in Las Vegas. And Riho and Yuka Sakazaki, of course, know each other well, not just because they're Japanese, but because they have competed against the, each other many times before. But Nyla Rose, also very familiar uh -oh. because of her experience oh. in Japan. This one could be over really quick, folks. Don't go make a sandwich right now. Nyla Rose charging in on both Riho and Yuka. Now they got a little overzealous. And these two young ladies, obviously smaller, are going to use their quickness, their speed to any advantage right. that they can create, and hope maybe they're not the mix of the start. Oh, just man, on the brakes in the center of the ring. Nyla Rose in full control of this matchup, and you're right, JR, they've got to use their speed. This is a different kind of matchup for Rose. Double drop kick. And they are cooperating, but how long will that last? But they're now trying to, to bring Nyla over. I, oh, Nyla! Though just those powerful tree trunk legs. That was uh, Excalibur saying he had tree trunk legs, Nyla, not JR. <laughs> or the, the not going way, not going way out. We're good. We're good, Your Honor. I may live to regret that. I rest my case. Wow, look at the power. This is a. She's just powerful and. Double oh. splash. Fans appreciating that uh, athleticism by Yuka and Rio. 
basically been a 2v1 match yeah, at this point in time. Been a handicap match, even though that's not the case. It'll be interesting to see when the cooperation ends. Good luck, you ladies. Powerful, powerful moment. And we could very easily be looking at the one who's going to dominate this whole division. That's what we thought when Double or Nothing came along, and that matchup, while it was not going in her favor necessarily, I think Nyla Rose certainly is feeling like she she's like one of the favorites in this one too. Really dominated. Yeah, she proved at double or nothing that she could stand toe to toe oh, with yeah. Awesome Kong. A double or camera right. punch. Oh, no. she's looking to submit both of her opponents simultaneously. And the fans not appreciative of the fact that Nala being a little bit of a bully in their view. You don't get bonus points if you submit both of them. No. There's no more. There's no more cheese on your waffle at the end of the night than on board. Well, interestingly enough, only one of them needed to get to the rope for her to actually break that hold. They all were using each, they had uh, four four legs, four arms there to be able to get on out of there. So, referee, actually worked out well. Referee Aubrey Edwards did a nice job officiating this matchup. Yeah, keeping an eye on action, making sure everything is legal. Yeah. Now standing bear hug there by Nyla Rose. She's good because we're not paying attention to her. She's kind of blending in, which is exactly what most officials should or want to do. Nyla Rose has just dominated both opponents through the duration of this match. Oh. Textbook suplex. And, and she's strong. She's got, a, she's got some snap when she delivers a suplex, for example. Right now, she's uh, in the driver's seat, obviously. As we thought it would be. Yuka Sakazaki just thrown out to Rio. Aubrey Edwards very nearly made the pinfall there. Great awareness by Aubrey. I'm not sure Nyla Rose even considered that that could end in a pinfall. This is certainly not going to look good here for Yuka Sakazaki. Who actually gets on out of it. She floats over the back, ducks the lariat attempt. Now comes up, step up, one good one. Takes Nyla Rose down and to the outside. That was an amazing that she was able to get uh, Nyla Rose off her feet in that predicament. A lot of balance, a lot of momentum. Yuka, you're hearing the chant. Is a star being born? The magical girl looking to fly. Stepping up to the top. Oh. Shaky knees, but she comes down hard on both Nyla Rose and Riho. And you have to think the amount of energy that that exerted this entire match has been Nyla Rose in the driver's seat, in full control. And Yuka doing the smart thing, rolling Riho into the ring. Yep. A woman who's endured just as much punishment as she is. And she knows how depleted Riho is. And she's a woman that's not Nala Rose. Maybe looking to go for the magical girl splash here. Drop kick. Beautiful drop kick. Miss a drop kick off the top. There's a cover. Hook far leg and a near fall. Or so says our referee. Aubrey Edwards right there on the spot. Keeping a close eye on the action. Wow. But Riho with that elbow strike to the jaw. These women exchanging shots, center of the ring. Great right follow the follow through. Both of them got the follow through. Boxing elbows there from Yuka Sakazaki. Discus Lyric attempt. Riho comes through. Oh, nice. It's super takeover. Good counter. The Tierras takes down Yuka Sakazaki. Drop kick avoided by Yuka though. Yuka charging in, drop kick of her own. Riho hits the ropes. Drop kick attempted. Oh! I'd say you, you ladies need to increase this sense of urgency because, well, there we go. That may be too late. Now the Rose comes in, jumping knee strike. Barely knocking Nyla back. Drop toe hold. Sets up. Now the Rose with the ropes. Riho coming in. And now he's high risk. Oh, man. Oh, Shots off the top. Oh. Yeah. Now Yuka with Nyla Rose effectively neutralized. Oh, Riho went for the Cazadora, didn't catch all of it. Oh, oh, man. But instead capitalized on the momentary disorientation of Yuka with that stop to the midsection. When in doubt, stomp it out. You gotta certainly, you gotta agree that these ladies are doing the right thing trying to beat the others because. 
be the massive Nyla Rose working out for him. Ron Lariat to the seated opponent, but Nyla Rose right there to break up the pinfall that. attempt. Like it was just a single arm shove. Like she was moving a, a stuffed animal for bed. Yeah. Maybe moving like the like the pillows around right, or something. Exactly. <laughs> or concrete blocks. That too. Yuka Sakazaki, not a lot of mustard on those shots. Nyla Rose takes her down with one. The thing about Nyla in this situation where she's going to fight most women that are much smaller than her, she can't become complacent. Mm -hmm. She has got to maintain some sort of killer attitude and focus. But you can see where she can become a little bit lax. That's right. You gotta keep your eye on the prize the entire time. If you want to dominate this division, no one is gonna let you rest for a moment. And Yuga Sakazaki making her pay for that one. Goes in for it, but not oh, Valeria. Nyla Rose what a catch. catches her when she flies through. Oh man, just planning Yuka. That should do it. Two. No, Yuka kicks out. A very lax cover. And that's the complacency she needs to avoid. Exactly. It will not do her any favors. Yuka Sakazaki fighting from underneath in more ways than one as Nyla Rose has her in the front chancery center of the ring. Riho trying to crawl her way up, but right now. Strength is power. Oh. Blood rushing to the brain. There's a vertical suplex with ease. And it doesn't look like Nyla's going to be able to capitalize on that devastating maneuver. No, Yuka did a very smart thing. She rolled out of harm's way. She rolled out of the way for a pinning predicament. Oh, splash in the corner. That's the elevator bomb. And this now, isn't looking good for Riho. Perhaps no. another vertical suplex. Oh, just hanging her out to dry on the top strand. Top rope's got company. Now what's Nyla thinking? Surely she's not thinking that way. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. There's no reason for this. Oh, look at the agenda. Oh, oh, no. That's run down amazing. She is going to. Oh, oh, that was like a guillotine. Brutal. That's an animalistic, simply careless, reckless, uncaring maneuver. And now. She's not going for a cover. The complacency. This is not good. In this situation, you want to see Nala Rose just go for the cover, end this matchup. I mean, Rio, the punishment that she has endured. Let's not forget about Yuka Sakazaki. This matchup, Nala Rose, it's been her this entire time. This is uncalled for. More importantly for the athlete, it's unnecessary. Oh, no. Yuka. Yuka up. Inadvertently saving Riho. Oh, shots to the face of Yuka. Down she goes. Oh. Almost took out a cameraman. Now Nyla Rose up to the top. Riho. Oh, no. She is going to be flattened. <laughs> Nobody there. And all that force and that power, that impact created by Nyla Rose on her own body. And now Riho's looking to do something here to turn the tides of this matchup, gentlemen. She going is, from high risk. She is looking to capitalize. Nyla Rose very slow, very unsteady on her feet as Riho off the top, diving body press, caught by Nyla. Caught in midair, what a fair catch. But and look at Yuka. Yuka, the magical oh, 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 I'm not sure who would have scored the victory there. This is not an elimination match. It's first to a finish. And we heard Justin Roberts give the uh, the 10 minutes remaining call. Yuka Sakazaki eats a knee to the crown of the head. Riho coming through the Tierras, lands on her feet. Yuka transitions back into a snap suplex. Nice exchanges, good counters. Fundamentally sound by both young ladies. Excellent athletes. One has to wonder though, are they gassed right now? Here it is. She's setting up the magical girl splash. Yuka Sakazaki flying oh, oh, knees, up. knees up. Knees up by Rio. Rio's been in the business 22 years. Or 13 years. She's only 22 years old. Oh, release German suplex. 
Sweetie, yeah. as you mentioned, started wrestling at nine years of age. She's had such a career as well. And, but that's that's experience that she has learned from a very young age. But right now, Nyla Rose dominating on brute force alone. Beast, oh, center of the ring. One, two, Rio. Driving knee, he finished. Two, no. Rio kicks off. She broke up both pin predicaments. Yeah, you could get kicked off the cover. Now we're back to where we started. And as long as there's life and movement in not not a rose, I gotta say these two, two other ladies are in trouble. Big trouble. Rio charging in that leaping knee strike, catching Nala Rose on the point of the jaw. Oh, fireman's carry. Death bounce. But Nala Rose doesn't have the energy or the stamina right now to make the cover. Yeah, I think her bell was run pretty badly by that running knee strike. Arm over. Not close, but not enough. And right. even the kick out as well. I mean, that was just both the cover and the kick out. You can tell that these two women, Yuka Sakazaki as well, just gassed here. What a marathon this has been. This has been an absolute slugfest. Unfortunately for Riho, she has been on the receiving end more often than not. Yeah, but she has also shown great resilience. I've been impressed with that. Great resilience by both these smaller competitors. Nyla Rose looking for another beast bomb. Riho. Oh, 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 she's got oh, the oh, Are you kidding me? The oh, winner of this match, Riho. Now the Rose goes back and watches this man. She's going to learn a lot. And Rose ever moved herself. No friendships here. No. There is a lot at stake. This is the future of the women's division here in all elite wrestling. And you, oh, Yuga is heartbroken. Yeah, you, that, that's, the, that's the face of sadness. Utter sadness.